All right, this video is going to cover module two, homework seven notes. We're talking about multiplying polynomials. So homework six is about adding and subtracting. Now we are going to multiply. Remember, multiply means distribute to each term. So we're going to multiply 3x to the fifth, y to the sixth, times 9x to the seventh, y. So it's kind of like combining like terms. So let's get our numbers together. So let's get 3 times 9. So 3 times 9 will give us 27. Then we're going to get our x's together. So x to the fifth times x to the seventh. Remember, if you have x to the fifth times x to the seventh, that means you're going to add your exponents, x to the five plus seven, which would give you x to the twelfth. So remember, you're going to add your exponents, and that will give you x to the twelfth power. Lastly, we have y to the 6th times y. So y to the 6th times y. If it helps you to write y to the 6th times y to the 1st power, go for it. Adding those exponents, y to the 6th plus 1, which would give you y to the 7th power. So our final answer is 27x to the 12th, y to the 7th. Next, we can multiply and simplify. So if we have... Uh, y minus 5 times y plus 2, we are going to need to distribute. And a lot of people say FOIL, and if you want to say FOIL, that's fine, but FOIL doesn't work for every single scenario. So I want something that works every single time, no matter what. So what distributing is saying is we want y multiplied by every single term, and then we want negative 5 multiplied by every single term. So y times everything, so y times y would give us y squared. Remember, so side note, y times y would be adding our exponent, so y to the 1 plus 1, which is why we get y squared. Next, I have y times positive 2, so positive 2y. So notice y is times everything. Now negative 5 times everything, so negative 5 times y would give us negative 5y. And then lastly, negative 5 times positive 2 which is negative 10. So y times everything, negative 5 times everything. So now combining some like terms, we have y squared. Um, 2y minus 5y would give us negative 3y minus 10. So y squared minus 3y minus 10 would be our final answer. We combine like terms. So our next thing says to multiply 7x minus 3 squared. So we can write it out twice, 7x minus 3 times 7x minus 3. And we can distribute. Remember, whenever you have the subtraction, like we talked about uh, before, you have to write it out twice. So subtraction, so you have to write it out twice. Um, and then we're going to distribute, just like we did up here. So 7x times everything, and then distribute. So 7x times everything, negative 3 times everything. So 7x times 7x would give you 49x squared. 7x times negative 3 would give you negative 21x. Negative 3 times positive 7x would give you negative 21x. Lastly, negative 3 times negative 3 would give you positive 9. Lastly, just like we did up here, let's combine some like terms. We have 49x squared, negative 21x minus 21x, combining those together, negative 21 minus 21 should give us negative 42x plus 9. Done. So we distributed, and then we combine our like terms. Next, let's multiply 4x to the 4th power times 3x squared minus 4x minus 1. Just like up here, let's distribute. So negative 4x to the 4th times everything. I think I said negative. So 4x to the 4th times everything. 4x to the 4th times 3x squared. 4 times 3 would give us 12. x to the 4th times x squared. Remember, we're going to add our exponents. So side note, x to the 4th times x squared would give us x to the 4 plus 2, which would give us x to the 6th power. 
So x to the sixth power. 4x to the fourth times negative 4x would give us 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. x to the fourth times x would give us x to the fifth power. Again, x to the fourth times x. There's x to the first power, so x to the four plus one, which would give us x to the fifth power. Lastly, four x to the fourth times negative one would give us negative four x to the fourth. None of these are like terms, meaning that none of them have the same exponent and the same variables. So they're not like terms, we can leave it. So our final answer for this one is 12 x to the sixth minus 16 x to the fifth minus four x to the fourth. All right, next page. Here's where FOIL doesn't work. This is a good example to show that. So multiply and simplify the results, combining all like terms. So x plus 1 times 4x squared plus 9x minus 4. So first we're going to do x times everything and then positive 1 times everything. So x times 4x squared would give us 4x to the third power, adding those exponents. x times uh, positive 9x would give us positive 9x squared. x times negative 4 would give us negative 4x. All right, then next, positive 1 times everything. So positive 1 times 4x squared would give us positive 4x squared. Positive 1 times positive 9x would give us positive 9x. Positive 1 times negative 4 would give us negative 4. Now we can combine some like terms. We have 4x cubed. Okay, then we have 9x squared plus 4x squared, which would give us plus 13x squared. Then we have negative 4x plus 9. So negative 4x plus 9 is positive 5x. And then we have minus 4. And that's our final answer. 4x cubed plus 13x squared plus 5x minus 4. So next example, 2x times 4x plus 3 times x minus 1. We can only multiply two polynomials at a time. We can only multiply two polynomials at a time. So it doesn't matter which two you do first. Uh, let's do these two. So let's do 2x times 4x plus 3. So let's distribute that 2x times the 4x and then 2x times 3. So 2x times 4x would give us 8x squared. 2x times positive 3 would give us plus 6x. So that's the first part. Bringing down this x minus 3. So now I have these two that I can multiply together. So 8x squared times everything and then 6x times everything. So 8x squared times x would give us 8x cubed. 8x squared times negative 3 would give us negative 24x squared. So notice 8x squared times everything. So now 6x times everything. So 6x times x would give us plus 6x squared. 6x times negative 3 would give us negative 18x. And then combining like terms. So 8x cubed, combining these like terms together, negative 24x squared plus 6x squared. Negative 24 plus 6 would give us negative 18. So negative 18x squared minus 18x. Notice I have x cubed, x squared, and x, so they're not like terms, so I can't combine it. This is my final answer. 8x cubed minus 18x squared minus 18x. All right, perform the indicated operation and simplify. Um, x minus 7 squared minus x Minus 3 squared. Remember, order of operations tells parentheses. We have to do whatever is inside the parentheses first with the exponents. So if I have x minus 7 squared, so that's going to be x minus 7 times x minus 7. Have to multiply those out. Same thing, minus x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 squared, I have to write out as x minus 3 times x minus 3. 
So now just doing two at a time. So just doing the x squared, x minus 7 squared, just doing x minus 7 times x minus 7. So x times x would give us x squared. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Then negative 7 times x would give us another negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Combining our like terms, we have x squared, negative 7x minus 7x is negative 14x plus 49. So that's our first one. And then same thing over here. We have um, x minus 3 times x minus 3. Let's distribute. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. So now three, negative 3 times everything. Negative 3 times x is another negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then notice we're subtracting. So I'm just going to bring down this subtraction symbol. So I have this first stuff. I'm going to use a very light color. This first stuff minus the second stuff. So while we're here, let's combine these like terms. So minus parenthesis x squared negative 3x minus 3x would give us negative 6x plus 9. All right, so now we have a subtraction problem. There's nothing out front of that first set of parentheses to distribute besides a positive 1. So it'll stay x squared minus 14x plus 49. Distributing this negative, so that means the negative is going to go to every single term. So it'll give us negative x squared. Negative times a negative is a positive 6x. Negative times a positive is a negative 9. Almost done. Now just combining our like terms. So x squared minus x squared goes to 0. Those cancel each other out. We have negative 14x plus 6x. Negative 14x plus 6x would give us negative 8x. And then last but not least... 49 minus 9, which would give us positive 40. So our final answer is negative 8x plus 40. These are not the like terms, so I can't combine it, so we're done. Last example says, find the completely simplified expression for the area of a rectangle. Remember, area is length times width. So our length in this case is 5x plus 9. So we're going to have 5x plus 9 times our width, which would be 5x minus 9 from the problem. So we can multiply 5x plus 9 times 5x minus 9. All right, let's distribute. So 5x times everything. So 5x times 5x will give us 25x squared. 5x times negative 9 would give us negative 45 X. Next, 9 times everything. So 9 times positive 5x is positive 45x. And then 9 times negative 9 will give us negative 81. Combining like terms, we have 25x squared, negative 45x plus 45x cancels each other out. And we're left with minus 81. So our final answer is 25x squared minus 81. These are not like terms, so I cannot combine it further. So that's it. And that is all of module two, homework seven. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, go ahead and complete module two, homework seven. Thank you so much.